Hey everyone, this is Mike McCurdy. I'm back here on another video that we're gonna try to show you today how to upload photos to Facebook and Instagram. You're like, really? Well, we're talking about doing this from your PC or your Mac. Typically uploading to Instagram from a PC or a Mac is a pain. It just doesn't work right. There's little tricks. But I'm gonna show you today a free tool that's actually sanctioned by Facebook for uploading to Instagram and Facebook at the same time. So with all that said, sit back, enjoy a cup of coffee or whatever beverage you prefer, and let's get this show started. So welcome back, this is Mike McCurdy again. Uh, today, like I said, we're going to show you something that's uh, more or less free. So I want to show you uh, how to use this tool whenever you upload to Instagram and Facebook. I get a lot of our clients that work with us who do video wanting to know how do I get video posted to Instagram. Um, there are a couple of rules you have to know about Instagram. One of those rules with Instagram is that on the main feed where you see all the photos, you can only post uh, a 60 second video. So most people want to show about a minute to two or three minutes. How do you do this? So let's go through that and show how you can upload from your PC or your Mac directly to Instagram and Facebook at the same time. You can do this from your phone as well. The problem is on your cell phone, your cell phone kind of compresses the photos and the videos a little more than it does on a PC and Mac. And the problem with that is anytime you deal with compression, the quality drops. So you want to have as least compression as you can from your hardware, in this case, the PC or the Mac. So let's dive into this real quick. So first of all, if you've never heard this tool, it's called Facebook Creator Studio. If you look here, one of the easiest ways to find it, seriously, just go to Google, type in Facebook Creator Studio, and look what happens. It comes up right there on the top. So simply click on it, and bam, you're in the Facebook Creator Studio. Now again, this is actually made by Facebook, so it works directly with Instagram and Facebook. No issues with it. Uh, with this tool opened up here, you'll probably have to go through and set up your account to work with Facebook and Instagram. And it's simple, just follow the instructions and set up your account. Once you get that done, check out all the details you have here. You can actually look at insights on your videos, on the content library, you can see everything you've done uh, within your Facebook environment. Notice here at the top, we've got a Facebook button. See this Facebook button? And we've got an Instagram button. So we can go between Instagram and Facebook. So how do you get your videos posted on Facebook? Well, again, I'm gonna select the Facebook tab. And up here, do you see this create a post? I can create a post and right there, I can upload a video right to Facebook. Another beautiful thing is I can actually schedule the video as well. So I'm going to come in here and get me a video, a short one. I'm going to open the video. And once I get my video, I can post it on my different channels. One of them is going to be my professional channel, McCurdy Media. Once I do this, check this out. I can actually type in my title and we'll just call this testing and my description. Testing again. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not going to say testing again. But another thing notice here is that your mentions or your hashtags work directly in this system. So I can actually type in McCurdy Media. In this case, it's me. But I could, if I want to, tag or um, hashtag or mention people within Facebook or, or Instagram right here from within this tool. Nice. Look at this. I can, I can add tags here. I can put in my keywords everything I want to do. Last but not least, look at this here. I can choose a thumbnail. So I can literally go through and look at the thumbnail of my video, or if I don't like any of these thumbnails, I can go down here to video frame and I can choose the frame. This, this is slick because now I can literally scrub through the video and find the frame where I look the best or <laughs> Yeah, where I like the best, or the frame I like the best. It could be a picture of me, it could be a picture of whatever, and I can say save thumbnail. Done. 
Another thing I can do that's super nice and easy is down here on the right, see I says next. So I'm going to need to do some other things before I can post this video. I click on next. Check this out. I can publish it right now or I can schedule it. Here's where I can actually post it on the date and time that I want. And let's say I don't want to post this at three in the morning because no one's going to be there to watch my videos. So I want to post it for tomorrow, but I'm busy. So when can I do it? Well, I can set tomorrow and I can post it to schedule at 11.30 a.m. Nice. So I want to show you real quick on how to do photos, but a lot of you guys are getting videos and you want to know how do I put a video that's more than a minute onto Instagram? Because I can do that easily with Facebook, no problem at all. But how do I do that on Instagram? Well, Instagram recently, I should say about a year ago, came out with Instagram TV. A lot of you have heard this, you know what it is. With typical Instagram, you can only post a 60 second video. That's it. You can't go beyond that. So if it's, if it's more than that and you want to go to a minute five, minute 10, a minute 30, you have to use Instagram TV. So let me show you how you can do that quickly, again, from your PC or Mac using Facebook Creator Studio. So again, in, within Facebook Creator Studio, notice I've got my Instagram is checked and I can come over here and say create post. Look at this, IGTV. Nice. So I can actually post it and if you see I get this nice little diagram comes up. Right here I can actually from a file or upload, I can actually upload it from my PC or Mac. I've already downloaded it, it's a big file. And I can actually upload it from my local PC or Mac. Click on this, check this out, I've got the video right here. This is a big video, it's about two minutes long and I click on open. And now it's automatically in the background uploading directly to Instagram TV. So as I do this, I can type out my title again, uh, test, 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 and I can also come down here and say beautiful video. Last but not least, one of the most important things you need to do is share the preview to your feed. Now what this does is it actually shares a 60 second clip on your Instagram feed. So if someone clicks it, they get 60 seconds of this video displayed to them. And below it, there'll be a little Instagram TV signature, and it'll say, if you wish to see more, click here. Because now when they click on it, they get the full two minute video. If not, they just watch the 60 seconds and it stops. So it's a great way, make sure you set the share to preview to feed, but it's a great way to get people's attention to watch your full video. Last but not least, look at the bottom of the page. I can actually post this video directly to my uh, Facebook page. Pretty slick, and I can again choose a thumbnail. So now I can share a preview on my Instagram channel, plus I can share a preview or an actual the actual video onto my Facebook page. That's really slick. I can basically do two things in one click. Get it all uploaded, Get it, if I want to, I can now come down here and I can even schedule it on both Facebook and Instagram. I mean, this saves time like none other. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I wanted to show you this. I wanted to make it quick. I wanted to make it snappy so that you can figure out how to use Facebook Creator Studio to upload content to both Instagram and Facebook at the same time. It's a wonderful tool. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's free. Why not? So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section below. Obviously, subscribe to our channel and hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified when our next video is out. You don't want to necessarily miss it. Thanks again, guys. We hope to see you in our next video. This is Mike McCurdy, and I am out of here.